driven along the five freeway going north towards Santa Clarita Valley, you might have seen this structure before. Do you know what it is? When I was a kid, I thought it was a water park ride like Splash Mountain at Disneyland, but it's not. It's called the Cascades, and it's actually the end of the line for a structure called the Los Angeles Aqueduct. The aqueduct was built in 1913 by a man named William Mulholland to transport water from the Owens Valley to the city of Los Angeles. Although this happened over 100 years ago, taking this water has had a lasting impact on Los Angeles and the Owens Valley, one that we can still see today. Los Angeles is a semi-arid environment, which means it's dry most of the time with a short rainy season. So how can an environment like this support a population of over 10 million people? The truth is, it can't. Right now, there's enough water being brought into the city to support this huge population, but it wasn't always like this. Once upon a time in history, when the city was just starting to make a name for itself, its future was on the brink of running dry. In the early 1900s, almost 200,000 people called Los Angeles home, and the population was growing quickly. From agriculture to the booming oil industry, thousands of people were moving to Los Angeles, and it became clear that there wasn't enough water in local sources to keep the city growing at such a fast pace. Los Angeles was desperate for a new source of water, and William Mulholland was determined to quench its thirst. Mulholland was an Irish immigrant and self-taught engineer who, through hard work and determination, became the chief of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. With his confidence and clout, Mulholland convinced government officials that all the water Los Angeles would ever need was 223 miles north of the city in the Owens Valley, and that he would be the man to deliver it. No Angelino would ever have to worry about water again. Mulholland proposed that an aqueduct be built, starting in the Owens Valley and stretching all the way down to Los Angeles County. An aqueduct is a series of tubes and canals that are used to transport water from one place to another. They're old technology, and we see them throughout history in places like ancient Rome, ancient Greece, and even early Los Angeles. So you can think of the Los Angeles aqueduct as the giant straw through which Los Angeles would drink the water of the Owens Valley. Now, a project like this had never been attempted before. A 223 mile long straw that would stretch across valleys and deserts, over mountains and across earthquake faults to deliver water to the City of Angels seemed almost impossible, but Mulholland pulled it off. On November 5, 1913, the Los Angeles Aqueduct opened and the water from the Owens Valley flowed into the San Fernando Valley for the first time. On that day, a crowd gathered around to watch the first flows of water rush down the Cascades. Small glass bottles like this one here, filled with water from the aqueduct, were given as souvenirs. And it was there where William Mulholland famously exclaimed, there it is, take it. With this new, seemingly unlimited water supply, Los Angeles grew larger than would have ever been possible without it. William Mulholland was celebrated as the man who saved Los Angeles, so much so that the city even named a street after him. But his actions didn't come without consequences. 13 years after the opening of the aqueduct, so much of the water that fed the Owens Lake had been taken or diverted to Los Angeles that the Owens Lake, roughly the size of San Francisco filled 50 feet deep, had completely evaporated. Not only was this a huge environmental disaster, this created serious human health issues. There were people who lived in the Owens Valley, and they depended on that water for their livelihoods. Even today, people who live in the Owens Valley have to deal with the consequences of William Mulholland's decision. On windy days, dust from the dry lake bed gets kicked up and creates air pollution that has caused health issues like asthma and cancer for the people who live around it. Los Angeles has been taking water from the Owens Valley since 1913. And even though William Mulholland thought it was all the water the city would ever need, he was wrong. Two more aqueducts, the Colorado River Aqueduct and the California Aqueduct were built in 1939 and 1965 to continue to quench the thirst of the ever-growing city. William Mulholland created a lasting legacy for himself in both Los Angeles and the Owens Valley, a hero in one place and a villain in the other. And we can still see the impact of his actions today. Subscribe to our channel for more videos or visit our website at nhm.org to keep exploring.